This is Music and Ideas here on KBCS 91.3. We have some special guests in the studio with us today. Makleet Hadero is an artist hard to put in a box. Hadero graduated from Yale University with a political science degree. She's a 2009 TED Global Fellow and co-founder of the Nile Project. Founded in 2011, the Nile Project was formed to address the Nile's basin's cultural and environmental challenges using an innovative approach that combines music, education, and an enterprise platform. McLeet, we love you at KBCS. Welcome back. <laughs> having us. Well, we love KBCS. So. Yes, and we also have Darren in the studio as well. I'm like, <laughs> not, not to uh, not to not mention Darren as well. Thank you, Darren, for coming as well. My pleasure. So, yes, we, we love you here at KBCS, and it's always a pleasure to have you in the studio with us. Now, I have to start with some exciting news because I know, let's see, today is the 25th. So exactly was it about maybe 20 days ago or so that you signed a, a deal, a worldwide record deal with Six Degree Records, right? Congratulations. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So what does that mean for you as an artist to get signed? Talk about that process a little bit. Well, you know, it was an interesting uh, moment because, you know, these days you really uh, wonder as an artist, well, should I sign and should I do it myself and knowing that you can do it yourself? Um, and that's a very viable option for a lot of people. What it meant for me um, signing with Six Degrees was finding a partnership that really felt like it makes sense. It made sense at a at a real organic level. So Six Degrees is known for their approach to um, bringing folks who um, signing folks who who use different traditional musics in interesting and uh, contemporary ways, who are also steeped in jazz and who are not easily defined. So I was like, okay, first I know that Six Degrees. Uh, we have a kind of um, matching vision. So that was really wonderful. And then just having the support of people who've been doing it a really long time, but also are very forward thinking and really experimental in terms of like um, approaching uh, the process of recording and the process of getting the music out to the world. So it, it, it's been really exciting. And um, yeah, we're heading into the studio um, starting in uh, early November for, for a uh, spring release, right? Yes, indeed. Spring well, you time. mentioned being easily defined and that was one of the things that um, in researching about you a little bit more and just kind of looking at different articles that have been written about you and your music your style has been described as let's see uh, New York jazz with West Coast folk and African that's Filter Magazine um, then an article in the Seattle Stranger ahead of your uh, performance tonight at Jazz Alley describes your music as nothing and everything you've heard before so <laughs> how do you describe your style? Well, um, I like to think of myself as walking the road of hyphens. All right, <laughs> so, walking the road of hyphens. You know, um, and and I think I think that um, that is something that resonates with a lot of people. I think the way people listen to music is very different than it used to be. And if you look at anybody's um, iTunes genre list, you don't see any single music dominating anymore. That's not the way we we listen. We're um, becoming far more um, global in 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 our ears. <laughs> um, and and so I really you know my sort of one second speech is you know I'm a songwriter that works primarily with jazz musicians so there's a lot of improvisation and bringing in some Ethiopian influences in the songs um, as well as in the vocal approach. Okay well I want to take a little bit of a, a little bit of a sidestep to talk a little bit about you and your profession outside of the music profession uh -huh. but some of your other passions maybe as I mentioned you went to Yale political science is your background and yes. you're involved in a lot of different projects you're a 2009 TED Global Fellow you have the Nile Project I know there's another project that you're involved with how does your political background kind of inform your work as a musician well I think that for me um, things in life are seamless um, so you know, in school, when I was studying political science, I really studied social movements. And um, I think a lot about the ways that the work that we do in the world can support our values for the world. Um, and and I, I feel like it's actually a little bit easier to do that as a musician because the um, the the idea of voice and putting ideas out through sound is at the core of what we do. Um, so so I kind of think of myself as both a cultural activist and a musician. So as a musician, I'm interested in performance and 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 
the sort of pure experience of music that we need at this very basic level of humanity, you know, as human beings. And then as a cultural activist, I think of myself as somebody who uses music to ask questions about where are we at and where do we want to go. Okay, well, we want you to ask some questions right now. We want you and Darren to ask some questions. Show us, some, give us some music that uh, might ask, or if not ask questions, maybe invoke some questions in us. So we're going to have a musical performance right now from McLeet Hedero here live in the KBCS studios. Take it away. This song is called Waiting for Earthquakes. of broken ground reveal the fish spread sound the field don't look now don't play to show it so love just let him go well Ambro call fell in to see once predicted now we'll be Form everything lean toward oh, the breaking point we all have one left of center right of star oh, 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 oh. on the options on the lava land we pushing just to stand on sand finally came the earthquake finally came the earthquake finally finally came oh the earthquake finally came and oh who were you in all of this sailing on the ocean while I was in the middle, oh Lord, the fire, the fire and the bliss. No, oh, 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 that volcano's kiss. I was uh, waiting for the earthquake, waiting for the earthquake, waiting, 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 uh, waiting, waiting. Well, I was waiting for the earthquake, for the earthquake, waiting, 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 uh, and uh, who were you? All of this, you're sailing on the ocean uh, while I was in the middle. All oh, the fire, all oh, the fire, all oh, the fire and the bliss. No, oh, oh, that volcano's kiss. I was waiting for the earthquake, for the earthquake. Waiting, I was waiting, I was waiting. For the earthquake, for the earthquake, oh, 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 Thank you so much, Darren Thank Johnston you. on trumpet, McLeet Hedero. Lovely. Okay, so I know I, I said one, but you kind of made me say, Do I, really, I mean, am I really only going to get one of those? <laughs> one song now? After that performance? I think that was a little bit of a tease, McLeet and Darren. I think I might need one more. I mean, we can do but, that. Okay, do okay. That. I, I, I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot because I know I said one, but that was just too good. I need just one more. If, if you're willing 
willing, uh, we would love one more song if you're willing. Sure, sure. We'll play a song, um, which is actually the most recent song I wrote. It's called Stuck on the Moon, and uh, it's about folks who think differently. And um, just just one word, I, I just really want to, you know, make it known and shout to the skies how much we love KBCS and community radio and how important it is to support. So thanks again for having us. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> If you find yourself stuck on the moon Oh, the rules are the same One foot in front of the other Till your body flows away When your body is floating in ether And your mind will join the game As your logic slowly leaves you your dreams will show their face. Oh, your <laughs> dreams will say, na da da, na da da, na da da, na da da, di di, na da da, da 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 da, da da da. If your dreams are leading your living, they enter your every day. You might find yourself back on the moon And there you will stay Or If you find yourself stuck on the moon on trumpet mcleet hadero thank you both so much i'm giving hand claps all around in the studio oh, right now you. that's right oh beautiful thank you so much mcleet thank you darren so much for thank coming you. in. this was fantastic thank you guys thank you this is music and ideas on kbcs 91.3 